Police are searching for the driver who hit a 77-year-old woman crossing the street. Six people have been killed by cars while walking or biking in the last month. Nine on your side is taking a closer look at this problem. Jordan Burgess is asking what can be done to change it. I feel safe, you know, so far. Like many who walk around their neighborhoods, Michelle Cunningham says she doesn't feel a danger in crossing the street. I have not come close to being hit. You just got to be careful around traffic time. But in the last month, six people have been killed on tri-state roadways while walking or biking. Two this week alone. That doesn't include the 77-year-old woman who was last listed in critical condition after a driver of a silver Hyundai Sonata hit her and then took off. So we wanted to know, is there anything behind the recent spike in deaths like the warm fall temperatures? I don't think there's a, a big trend, and I don't think it's specific to time of year. Uh, it's been nice all summer. Lieutenant Bruce Hoffbauer with the Cincinnati Police Department says one big thing could make the difference, though, in many cases, and that's using the crosswalk and taking a second look even when you do get the walk signal. It doesn't mean that you are absolutely free from being struck. Sometimes people are just not paying attention. So uh, you have to be a defensive driver and you have to be a defensive pedestrian. So know when you cross the street, even on the walk light, somebody might see you and you have to be able to react as quickly as you can. As for drivers, along with paying attention to those crossing the street, if something does happen, they need to stay there, unlike the driver in this latest hit and run. If they stay and render aid and call the police, it really helps them and it helps us and it helps the victim. Uh, so leaving the scene does nothing but complicate it for the person who drove the car and left the scene. Jordan Burgess, 9 on your side.